they mad at her because she stood for God. She told the truth and she made it very clear that even though Whitney was a friend of hers, she did not idolize Whitney. She called it out. She said, Cece, I want you to be on this video, but I know you're not going to be in there. I said, you're absolutely right. Because it started off with, I could cast the spell. I'm not saying that. God said, you're either for me or you're against me. You're either with me or you're not. The fact of the matter is whatever Whitney saw, Whit CC shut down. Shut it down. Now Even that, if you thought you thought I could come do it, I'm not doing it. There is no double standard in us thinking differently about her than we do someone like, say, Kanye West. Kanye West has yet to show any actual fruit that he follows God, right? He starts talking about God a little bit and all of a sudden everybody, Lord, the devil talk about that too. The difference is CeCe has always, from young, followed at least in some way, shape and form, attempted to purposefully follow God. There is a massive difference between the two. You know, one of my one of my dear friends who have gone on to <laughs> gone on to be with the Lord, praise God, um, uh, was Whitney Houston. Right? She was my dear sister and friend, and and I remember she was about to do one of her big videos, and uh, it was "I'm Every Woman." It's a great video, right? So she knew. She said, "Cece, I want you to be on this video, but I know you're not going to be in there." I said, "You're absolutely right," because it started off with I could cast the spell. I'm not saying that. God said, "You either for me or you're against me. You're either with me or you're not." My my very 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 humble opinion is is that they mad at her because. She stood for God. She told the truth and she made it very clear that even though Whitney was a friend of hers, she did not idolize Whitney and she she called it out. I mean, and I don't think that that she called it out from a, a standpoint of I want to diss her or I want to expose her. I think that she used that uh, story as a, as a teachable moment. And, and anybody now, this is just my opinion. Anybody that that uh, go against that or think that she was wrong for saying that. Now, you can talk about the overall message or however you want to frame it. But if she's wrong for saying that, then that just shows that uh, is more people that idolized Whitney or, and others than than we could ever imagine. Yeah, there is a massive difference between disagreeing with what said versus who said and how they said. They always like to hate the messenger, right? My question is, is she wrong? But she's not wrong. But people will say, well, you can't be throwing out the baby with the bathwater. Well, if you didn't put the baby in dirty bathwater so where you couldn't see the baby, you wouldn't be tossing the baby out, would you? No, you don't want to talk about that. You want to put it on such a, a far level. But she's talking something very truthful. Okay. I know for me, music can get you hyped up, either in the gym or it can put you to sleep without words so the body is already responding to a frequency of sound all they have to do is put something right behind it to get it in, to stick in your mental that's all they got to do so if they're using it for something positive they can also use it for something negative but why are we always thinking well it's not in the beat it's not the beat not the carrier that's like trying to tell me well the person behind the wheel didn't kill you the car did. <laughs> right <laughs> well the biggest difference is they were wielding the car the car can hit you or the car can carry you somewhere safe but the person wielding the car knows exactly what the car is capable of and since he realizes that the car can indeed kill you just don't drive the kind of car that would kill one and the way you're driving it is a means something um, i can fully agree with her now you know what people are gonna say corey they're gonna say well ain't that a woman telling you a woman you should be listening to a woman what do you say to them uh, i understood the words that came out of her mouth there you go <laughs> That's a, listen a woman can can tell you a lot of things that you can learn a lot from a woman nobody's saying that that you can't you know what i'm saying now uh i don't see where she put herself uh in authority over a man in that particular situation but maybe i'm wrong but what i am right about is that the message was clear um and i, and I clearly understand what she's saying because see this is this is the problem and, and people run into this all the time even on the on the uh, on the black and white side of things, we we find ourselves worshiping skin, uh, and we find ourselves worshiping people in skin, <laughs> and and that's that's a that's a major problem. So whenever somebody step out and say, okay, like Cece, she simply came out and said, hey, this is my friend. She asked me to do this, and I didn't and I didn't want, it, and she knew I wasn't gonna do it. So is she forbidden to tell? You know, should she be for, be forbidden from telling the story? To, to help people to send out a message No Look 
you know, I may say things about people and, and I say stuff and I write in their face. And I also would say the same thing about myself. So it's not that people always take it as, you know, you're talking about me. No, I'm calling it out. I'm exposing it. We, we call to do that. These are things that we're supposed to do. And, and if we don't do it, then according to the Bible that you claim you believe, then you're wrong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's the, just the bottom line. So she called it how she saw it. And that's, that's it. And I don't see how anybody can be mad at her for that. Well, they can be mad for two reasons. Um, because they want to be more right than she. <laughs> and the second reason they want to be mad is because they disagree to the point where they've held what she just said as gospel truth. All right. And not, not what she said in rebuttal, but they've held music. And this is how many get fooled. You see, they, they don't, they disassociate the vehicle that the devil uses. This is the same thing with Halloween. You know how Christians think they can use all the demonic symbols and all that stuff. I'm using it for God. No. No, you're not using it for God. You can't be using satanic stuff for God. That's not how that works. Come on, man. Uh, in the words of Joe Biden, come on, man. That's not how this works. So if you know it's an, it has an, a, 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 not just any association, like it is the base form of that, why would you even try to dabble and then layer your God thing on top of it? it, it you're trying to serve. Like she said, you're trying to serve both. And you can't. You got to. There, there's no middle ground. So, so let, let's take it, let's take it to this. Let's kind of flip it around a little bit. Um, what do you think about the, uh, the dynamic of, of Whitney and CC's relationship? So let me just, let, let me lay it. Let me frame it up like this. CC's a very smart woman. She know what Whitney was into. She know what Whitney was doing. She knew her lifestyle and everything. Do you see that as a red flag or do you see that as a, friend and that that she never looked down on or you know because because that can be taken that can be taken two different ways because one because on, on one side and i'm not saying that 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 they shouldn't have been friends i'm not saying that but i'm saying on one side you can say well why were you even affiliated with her knowing what kind of fruit she carried mm -hmm. in the first place you know what i'm saying so how does she even get the opportunity to even think to ask you that <laughs> you know what i'm saying if, if she know your fruit so what is what do you what do you grab from that dynamic? Um, there there are two things you can look at it like this, and this is not me defending CC because there's no defending anything when it comes to a right and wrong. I don't need to defend the truth, but here's this: there are people who think if you associated with somebody that is lost, that you being saved, you can influence them into something good. Okay, I can give you that. Fine, um, but to your point about if you know my fruit, you wouldn't even remotely approach me knowing what I know and think I would participate in it. So yes, that is a major red flag. Um, and one can look at that and think, oh, then I have to throw the whole message out. It's, it's still true that what she said is factual about the music. The secondary thing about her not even being a, and okay, we just had this event happen with us, with that other individual who said we should have Googled him. So, so I thought that was funny because you, you titled the video something about desperation. I don't know if you Google me or look me up at all, but I don't need desperation. I live like my, my livelihood is music. I already live off music. I don't need <laughs> desperation uh, from, from, from Kanye West. <laughs> None of this happened while I was there. When I was there, everything was biblical. Matter of fact, my job there was to make sure everything was in line with the Bible. Literally, that literally was my job. I can show you screenshots of text. Well, I'm trying to be the light to that person and blah, 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 while participating in it with them. And for that individual to talk to you as though they knew your fruit, but then to turn around and ignore your fruit, it's very possible. But when one is trying to join up with the other verses, what Cece did was trying to get her to understand, I'm not a part of that. I think there's where the difference happens. Because some people want to, okay. Some people want to ignore my, my current life and think that I'm back in my old life. They can see my fruit, but they still think I'm still having something to do with that. So they still reach out for that. The question is, is my change permanent to where I can tell them no, no, not no. So could it be that Whitney and her had a different type of relationship before Whitney, um, Cece got that revelation about things? Could be. So that's why Whitney was reaching back out to her. I don't know. No, but you got a good point, though. So um, you just pointed something out. Is your change, how'd you say it again? Say it again. Is your change so permanent that you don't have to 
that, that people know not not to um not to reach out to you not, for not to reach yeah. out to you for so at at i guess to a degree you can say maybe there was a time where uh cc may have been kind of you know just kind of leaning right there just in case she needed to <laughs> to jump over the fence you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying and 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 I, I understand that you know what i'm saying i understand that i've been there um not saying that it's um look that was her walk <laughs> you know what i'm saying not mine you know what i'm saying but i i understand that i i, I could see that the, not saying that i justify it but i can see that being the case because um i'm sure they've been knowing each other for a long time you know what I'm saying? And and look, you know, you, you know this. You you know this for a fact that I got friends that's still, you know what I'm saying, doing whatever they do. They live in that, let's call it living that life. I don't hang out with them. I don't um, you know, go to the to the to the clubs and all that stuff, but I know them. And I will meet them places and and I will sit down with them and talk. But that don't mean that I'm living like they're living. You know what I'm saying? It's just that I just didn't like say okay i'm completely done with you and i don't want to look at you or talk to you or nothing no more it's, it's just not like that. i don't i don't see that as being um completely necessary but in a case that when a friend come to you and try to get you to do something um i i like to use the word barbaric even though it might be out of place but it's in place for me um to do something is is uh barbaric is singing on an album and you know d- demonic lyrics i think that that's kind of a, a stretch to something i don't know I, know I know what you mean but it's not it's not a, a, a bad word to use okay because if like you said people that read but don't read <laughs> every time we do something intentional we would crucify him anew it was a barbaric event right crucifixion was barbaric so by you participating in that that's 100 percent true that it's barbaric um so for the, the, the like i said and the major difference here is that whatever Whitney had as an urging to talk to CC about it, the fact of the matter is whatever Whitney saw, Whit- CC shut down. Shut it down. E- even that- if you thought you thought I could come do it, I'm not doing it. Now, now let's bring it on around the bridge because we can all we can also say too the devil attempt anybody. You know anybody. Yes. Yeah. So, so but when she turned it down, okay, she did that in in private or whatever. However, that was done. And that's that's awesome that she did that. That's very awesome. But then she turned around, even though she's deceased, and you know how people worship the dead. Uh, and you know, Whitney was like very iconic, and you know, people idolized her and and literally worshipped her too. And she know that, and she still stood up and said, "Boom! This is what happened. This what listen, man. She knew." That when she said that she was gonna get some backlash, she knew. But you know what? She took the backlash, and for that, ultimately, I gotta, I gotta respect. I, I do, man. I really do. Um, she's the last. She's the last gospel artist out there that I was hoping to not. <laughs> I was listen. I was just gonna kind of go there. It's the same thing. <laughs> I was hoping, please, please, don't fall for it. Please don't. Please, please, please don't. Please, please. Please. No, no, CC, don't do it. But don't no, but. But you know, like when when you ask about CC, is like you don't really know, you know what I'm saying? The the nothing bad or that bad to the point where you say, ah, she fake. You know what I'm saying? So it's good to see that. And I'm not, I don't know where she at, uh, where she not at. I don't, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But um, that right there showed me a lot, and that's a a red flag to the to the good side. Yeah, to the good side. Yeah. Um. So it it. Now, people are going to say, but y'all speak out of both sides of your mouth. You know why? Because you say you can't judge, but you want to judge and you can't. And what about when you talk about Kanye? Here's the difference. Here's the biggest difference. There is, and if you, you can look back, I've, I've been, I've been a fan. And I'll say that. I can say that. I've been a fan of CC's music for a long time. Always loved her stuff. What about BB? No, I ain't never been a fan of BB. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like... I will listen to anything he does on a duet with CC, but I'm not like a, a, a BB fan, but I've always been a fan of CC and her, her music has always been, whether people like to believe this or not, it's been scripturally based. And so for her to come forward and say, look, there have been opportunities for me to step out of contextual God following words and lyrics and join up with people that I shouldn't be joining up with. And I didn't do it. That's a very good thing. However, there is no double standard 
in us thinking th differently about her than we do someone like say Kanye West. Kanye West has yet to show any actual fruit that he follows God. Not not one. He right. dropped a Chris, a Chris Christian album and everybody lost their minds. Right? He started talking about God a little bit and all of a sudden everybody lost the devil. Talk about that too. The difference is CC has always from young followed at least in some way shape and form attempted to purposefully followed god there was a massive difference between the two when you're talking about someone who's blatantly demonic and will flip back and forth in a heartbeat to something severely evil to something fairly good don't even make that equation there is a marked difference between somebody aiming to follow god and not catching it a hundred percent of the time versus somebody following and pursuing the devil and occasionally following god it's a big difference there is no equation here to be made so if you're thinking that that nah, nah, that's not that doesn't fly that equation don't fly look look at cc see look cc we would have had to talk about everybody else and yeah. all the stuff they do it but you you are right you know what i'm saying now tell r and bb to get his stuff together too yeah though. come talk to us too <laughs> did, you, did you catch the r and bb i catch the r and bb yeah <laughs> iron that bb out too if you can please you know i used to um um call him that a lot when i used to be around him but, you know I, I got i got a good friend that's good you know that worked with him and i used to always call him r&b he sit back and like say man them are not gospel songs dude that's r&b <laughs> well i had to pick with him though but no um but no we, we we really appreciate um seeing that 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 clip of cc standing up for what's right and and even at the at the cost of you know being scalded you know what i'm just like it's terrible you know what i'm saying you just said something that was true i'm sure she loved uh, uh whitney and you know wish her wish her well and all that i just she's told the truth and that's it and so all right so that's about it ladies and gentlemen we'll um be back around make sure y'all hit the uh j join join uh join the um the uh the channel and you get perks the perks are you get to see the videos first you know what i'm saying it's like i think it's like what 4.99 a month and you can do that for us to support us if you can if you can't that's cool too like share and subscribe and support us that way all right, ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate it. And uh, do yourself a favor and wake up before you go to sleep. Peace. We out of here.